Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Today I'm going to be making a delicious potato salad and I think you're really going to like it. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using five russet potatoes. Now you can use red potatoes and leave the skin on and you, or you can use a yellow golden potato. But I like the russet potatoes. So this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and peel them first and then I'm going to be putting them in water so that they don't get dark on me. I don't like it with the skin, but if you want to leave the skin on, you can. Now I put them into water as soon as I peel them because I don't want them getting dark on me. So as soon as I peel them like this, I'm just going to go ahead and put them into that bowl of water. Now sometimes you'll get one with a dark bruise. You can just cut the bruise off and I don't usually like to let anything go to waste. So now I'm gonna clean up my area and then I'm gonna cut them up into cubes. It's very important that you keep them in the water all the time so that they'll always stay this color. Otherwise they'll get dark on you. Now some people like to boil them with the skin on and then they bring them out, let them cool and then they peel them off. And that's fine, I just think that's a lot of extra work and this works just fine. I'm gonna put them right back into the water as soon as I cut them into cubes because I don't want them getting dark on me. You know what, I'm gonna change knives. I don't really like that knife. I think this knife is gonna work better. When you make your potato salad, you know they are, some of them are gonna break up and you are gonna have a little bit of mush. So you don't wanna cut them too small. That's why I like to keep them a little big because once I add all my other ingredients, you know, you know, if they fall apart a little bit, they'll still look good and put together. So here are my potatoes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them in this colander. And I'm gonna rinse them under cold water. I like to rinse them really well to remove all the outer starch, because the less mushier and starchy that you can get them, the better. And it really does make a difference. And that's good. So now in a heavy pot like this one, I'm going to go ahead and dump them in here. And I'm going to fill my pot with water just about an inch above the potatoes. And the water's cold. Just like this. See? Now I'm going to bring them over here to the stove. And I'm going to go ahead and set my heat on high until they come up to a rolling boil. In the meantime, I've got some cold water on this saucer here. And I'm going to put in four eggs. And I'm also going to bring the eggs up to a boil. My potatoes are gonna boil for about 11 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of salt to my potatoes. Now the reason that I like to put my potatoes to boil in cold water is because if your water is hot and boiling and then you add your cold potatoes in there, the outside of the potato will get really mushy by the time the heat penetrates to the center of the potato. So that's why I like to put them in cold water so that they can start boiling evenly and the heat can penetrate inside evenly all the way and you won't have any mushy potatoes. So my potatoes have been boiling now for about 11 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. You don't want them to overcook. I've got two 
tablespoons of vinegar right here. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the vinegar on them like that. And they'll get a really nice taste like that. Now I've got this cookie sheet out because I'm gonna spread them out so that they can cool evenly. Because they're very, very hot. Just like that. And I'll just very gently spread them out. You want to be careful with them. And let them cool evenly. They're very hot, so they continue cooking for just a little bit more. You see? I've always noticed that 11 minutes is just so perfect. And they won't be falling apart on me. And I'm going to let these potatoes totally cool down. I want them totally cool. At least room temperature, but really cool. And it's usually about 30 minutes. My eggs are ready. Now I like to fill them up with cold water after I dump out the boiling water to stop the process. You don't want to over boil them. I'm going to let them sit there for just about a minute. And I've got some icy cold water over here that I want to transfer them to. So now I'm going to transfer my eggs to the icy water. So that they can really get nice and cold, just like that. So I'm going to let those sit in the icy water until they're totally cold. And as you can see, my potatoes are cooling. I'm going to give them a full 30 minutes and then we'll come back. I'm going to go ahead and peel my eggs. Now I like to do it under running cold water like this. And if water can get in between the shell and the egg, it just comes off so quick. You see how easy they feel when you let the water run in between the shell and the egg? It works for me. Just like that. So I've got my four eggs here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my area right here and get started on my dressing. So I think I've gotten myself situated here. You know, all the spoons and the relish and the pickles and all that. So I've got two celery ribs. Now I don't want real big chunky pieces of celery. So I like to just slip these like into four. But if you like big pieces of celery, then you can go ahead and put them in like that. Just fairly small, you know, just like this. So I've got my two celery ribs right here. I've got half of a small onion here. Now the reason I'm not going to cut it in front of you is because I don't want my eyes to get watery. So I've got half of a small onion. Nicely chopped like this. See? Now I've got some sweet relish. I'm going to use two tablespoons of sweet relish. They're kind of heaping like this. Because I do like sweetness in my potato salad. I'm going to use a cup and a half of mayonnaise. And this is Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. There's a cup. There's a half. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of regular dill relish because I like it a little sweet and a little tangy. So I'm going to do a heaping tablespoon of dill relish. It's of sugar. There's one, two. 
I'm gonna use regular yellow mustard. Maybe some of you like your, your potato salad with a lot of mustard. You can add more mustard if you do. I don't like a lot of mustard in there, but just enough to give it a good tangy taste and some good color. So that's two teaspoons of mustard. I'm gonna put some pepper. And you can use as much pepper as you want. I'm gonna put in some pickle juice in here. This is a teaspoon of pickle juice. And then I'm gonna put in my chopped eggs. So I've got one egg here. Then I'll turn it around, just like that. See, there's one. Here's another egg. Slice it, turn it around, just like that. If you like them a little bit smaller, then you can chop them up a little bit more. And here's my fourth egg right there. So I'm gonna toss it around. This dressing is so good for my potato salad. It's just always perfect. Mix it up really good like this. See? Now, I like my potato salad a little creamy. So I've got a little bit of milk here. I'm just gonna put in about a tablespoon. Mix it up. A little bit more. Now I'm gonna add my salt. Now I usually add my salt last because I wanna, you know, taste it and make sure that it's just perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and use half a teaspoon of salt like this and I'm gonna mix it together make sure it all comes together really really good I'm gonna taste it I'm gonna add one more teaspoon of sugar Taste it. Mmm. This is so delicious. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my potatoes in this bowl. And the potatoes are nice and cold. So you never wanna make your potato salad using hot potatoes because when you put in your mayo, and you put in your milk and all that, it'll curdle, and you don't want that. So you wanna make sure that your potatoes are nice and cold. At least room temperature, but I always let them get really cold. And in this, and on this cookie sheet, being on top of this cold counter, they get real nice and cold. Look at that. See? Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my dressing in here. I think my friend Melinda Huerta Green is really gonna like this. Just like that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna just fold it in carefully like this. But as you can see, the potatoes were real nicely intact. So you don't have to worry about your potato salad getting mushy. See? 
Just want to fold it in together really nice. Now I've got some chives here. Do you know that right in my front porch I've got a pot with my chives and they've got beautiful little lavender purple flowers at the tip. Sometimes I don't even want to go cut some because I don't want to mess it up. But anyway, I've got some delicious chives right here and I'm going to put some in. Now I like to use chives because it's not very oniony, but it gives just that little bit of a taste and it gives it such a pretty color. See? Now I'll toss it around. Add a little bit more and I think I'll put all that in there. It was about a teaspoon. So once you folded it all in together really nice like this, your potato salad is ready to go. Now if you want it a little bit creamier, you can go ahead and add a little bit more milk. But this usually turns out just perfect. So now let's taste it. Mmm. And you know when you put it in the refrigerator, it just gets better and better as the time goes by. Can I taste this. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. Mm-hmm. A little sweet, a little tangy together. So good. The crunch. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So this is my potato salad. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. And do subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you.